Hey, it's Tom Gallagher, the video Panure, and today we're looking at a 2021 Subaru Ascent Touring. Here we go. So this Ascent is an all-wheel drive, seven-passenger vehicle featured in magnetic gray metallic exterior with a Java brown leather interior that's really amazing. It's offered by Lufu Subaru in St. Louis, Missouri with a sticker price of 46718 as we slide down the driver's side, you can see the body colored front rear bumper, the chrome handle, door handles. You also see the chrome around the windows. For additional information or to arrange a test drive, give John Malloy a call. His contact information is listed below. Love the chrome accent across the bottom of the doors. Here we get a look at the 20 inch alloy dark gray machined alloy wheels. And you can also see the chrome, brush chrome on the Tips of the mirrors, roof racks. Love seeing roof racks on vehicles. Rear aerodynamic spoiler, rear wiper, washer, dual exhaust tips, chrome exhaust tips, the accent and the touring badging on that side, the Subaru and all wheel drive badging on the driver's side. As we pull away, LED taillights. LED steering responsive headlights. So when you turn the wheels, the headlights respond to that. Fog lights, daytime running lights, automatic rain sensing wipers, 180 degree front view camera, which is very, very nice. Heated side mirrors, shark fin antenna. antenna. It has a 5,000 pound towing capacity with trailer stability assist. Another look at the roof rack. We do have a panoramic moonroof. We'll show you more of that. There's the brush aluminum side mirror caps. Here's that Java leather interior that I was talking about. We have the second row or the back door sunshades that are manual sunshade. And just love all the colors going on. You have dark, light, and then the Java leather, we have wood trim on the door panels as well. Harman Kardon stereo, you can see that in the speakers. We'll show that in a moment. So here are the uh, seats, the seven passengers. So we have captain's chairs in the second row. And then we have the 60-40 split fold down rear third row seat. And I'll jump back there in a moment, show you what the, the room looks like. Again, I'm six foot three, so... There's the panoramic moonroof. The rear zone climate control. Plenty of light inside the vehicle with that panoramic moonroof open as we slide out of the back and into the front. We have a power driver's seat, a manual passenger seat, but both front seats are heated and vented. Again, the power sunshade on the panoramic moonroof, and I'll show you the functionality of that in a moment. Leather wrap steering wheel with fingertip controls. Love the center stack, and we'll show more of that in a moment. A lot of technology in this vehicle. And I said uh, manual passenger seat. I meant power, power driver and passenger. Little cubby there to put some smaller items, pens. You can never have a pen when you... Hey, how about a little BSing with the video Panure in the third row of a 2021 Subaru Ascent Touring? Not a heck of a lot of room, but it's it's nice and there's air vents. Let me show you around. So again, a 60-40 split fold down third row seat. We have plenty of power ports on all three rows. 19 cup holders throughout this vehicle. So you got room for the Stanley Cup and then 18 other cups. Holy cow, there's plenty of uh, cup and bottle container spaces on this vehicle. So now I'm in the second row, and the second row, these are captain's chairs. They're slide and recline, and you have a sunshade. Here, let me show you around here. Just love the Java leather in this. Really sets it off, and there's the contrasting colors that I was mentioning. Look the way the sun touches that uh, Java Java leather. We have tri-zone climate control. 
We have additional power ports for the second row, so that's a residential uh, style plug right there. Keyless entry, push button start, blind spot monitoring system, lane departure. Here's more of those 19 cup holders. Adaptive cruise control, rear cross traffic alert. Heated outboard rear uh, second row seats. The captain's seats are heated as well. So again, heated invented front seats, heated captain's chairs in the second row. And then check out that center stack, technology galore. Speaking of technology, that's a Starlink 8-inch navigation multimedia system. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Subaru Starlink Safety Plus, which is a three-year membership. Here we dive into the driver's area. There's the power driver's seat with lumbar. Again, heated and vented front seats. Heated leather wrapped steering wheel, tilt telescoping steering column. Again, fingertip controls on the steering column or steering wheel. There's all your lane control systems. Here's more of that wood trim, the contrasting colors, the Java leather. We have power one touch up and down windows on all four doors, memory on the driver's side, your color instrument cluster. And here's how responsive the power sunshade is. Not as fast as I like to see it, but it's still functional and just a beautiful panoramic moonroof really allows a lot of light in. And now you can see things a, a bit better without the glare. Backup camera with dynamic grid lines. So again, remember the front has the 180 degree view camera. And then we also have the backup camera. Again, the flicker is caused because of the uh, LED, or I'm sorry, the uh, video as opposed to old fashioned movies. Your additional power port for your driver and your passenger. Nice weight to the key fob. Again, tri-zone climate control. So two in the front, one in the back. The uh, controls in the back control both second and third row. Electronic parking brake. And again, that is a uh, eight inch touch screen with navigation. Your center console, plenty deep. And then I love the little coin section there because I know for one, I'm always looking for change, especially when you go through a toll booth, you have to throw money out of the car. Your glove box with your owner's manuals. As we take another look at the dash and the center stack. Again, push button start. And there's more of your rear camera, rear view camera and your front view camera. And that's me putting the brakes on. That's kind of a neat thing. So as far as your cargo area is concerned, this vehicle has a whopping 86.5. So 86 and a half cubic feet of storage space with the seats down. So it's, it's top in class, best in class, carpeted floor mats. You can see on here I'm dropping the headrest. I had to put the headrest up when I sat in the third row seat, but it's easy to drop the seats. And I'm using one hand and holding a camera, so you wouldn't have to do that. All weather floor mats, carpeted floor mats, your Harman Kardon stereo speakers, more of your 19 cup holders right there. Your additional power ports for the third row. There you can see your panoramic moonroof. I have the uh, sunshade closed. Additional power ports. That is the cargo net there. And this vehicle was being uh, shown and possibly and probably delivered. So I didn't want to undo the cargo mat. So I didn't really get the chance to pull this up and really show you. But there's plenty of storage underneath there as well. 
again, all weather floor floor mats, and then the power lift gate, aerodynamic spoiler, rear wiper. So as we lift up the hood and take a look at the engine, I have all the vitals there. It's a 2.4 liter double overhead uh, cam, direct inject turbocharged boxer engine. You can see the horsepower, the torque. It is a CVT transmission, so it has an eight speed manual mode. There's the uh, boxer engine and the iconic Subaru grill and logo as we back away in three-quarter shot. Thanks again for watching. Leave us a comment. Thumbs up.